as we react to them team have been called uh, recent friendlies versus brazil and nicaragua technical advisor of the national team chris Hilti, has uh, talked about ghana's chances of making it out of the group at the world cup he says ghanaians will not be overly concerned about how we do make it out just that we do make it out. We're also going to talk about Kudus Mohammed, whose coach has said that Kudus missing in training will not face any further sanctions. We'll look at all that today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. I'll get right into it and we'll talk about uh, Ghana Black Stars uh, technical advisor Chris Hutting. He's of the opinion that Ghanaians will not care much how Ghana makes it out of the group stages of the World Cup just that we do and now the black stars technical advisor chris huting has stated that the emotions of Ghanaians are centered on the black stars advancing from their world cup group rather than the team's performance ghana in group h uh, with portugal south korea and uruguay huting told super sport uh, that Ghanaians are fixated on the team progressing from the group stages with little concern over how the technical team will pull it off other things that happened in the past are very much in the past and all our emotions and the emotions of the supporters are very much fixed on how we can make it out of the group stage of the World Cup and make progress and they don't care how we do it, he said. The former Brighton and Hove Albion manager added that it would be magnificent to progress from the group stages playing flamboyant football uh, but he believes the supporters prefer qualification over attractive football. It will be wonderful to be able to do it, playing free-flowing football, entertaining football, uh, but they don't care as the supporters want to see us qualify from the group. Do well and we are going to do probably our best we can. Ghana rode on the away go route to secure a ticket to the tournament that will be staged in November in Qatar. Uh, the Black Stars managed to secure a scoring draw in the second leg in Abuja after the first in Kumasi ended goalless. The Black Stars will begin their World Cup campaign against Portugal on November 24th, followed by South Korea on 28th and conclude against Uruguay on the 2nd at the Al Janu Stadium in Al Wakra. So that is it there on uh, the Ghana Black Stars qualification out of the group. He says, the fans won't care how we do it. They only care that we do it. I couldn't agree more with that. I think uh, the end justifies the means. The result is king in the end. Ultimately, how we make it doesn't matter. What matters is that we do make it out of our group and make it into the next stage, which is the round of 16, and progress better than possibly the quarterfinals. Can the Black Stars do that? I'm open and optimistic that they surely can uh, do that. Ajax coach uh, has said that no sanctions will be meted out to Kudus Mohamed after the Ghanaian unfortunately was unable uh, to make it to the team's training. A uh, boy caught uh, training ahead of his Everton move. The Ajax head coach Alfred Schrader has explained why he opted to give Ghanaian Kudus Mohamed more game time against Cumber on Sunday uh, despite trying to force a move to Everton. Uh, the 22-year-old was pushing for a transfer to the Premier League side on transfer deadline day in search of a more regular playing time. Kudus boycotted training as a result to force the move, but I accept 10 down a 15 million euros offer from Everton. The Ghana International stayed at Amsterdam after the deal fell through. Uh, Kudus came on as a substitute for Brian Brobe, who needed rest in the game versus Camber. The Ajax coach explained why there was no reason to punish Kudus as he pushed through for a transfer after failing and also decided to fail he field him in the game. Uh, because Mo is just a basic player for Ajax, the trainer explained to ESPN. He may not always be in the starting lineup, uh, but he is just a great player. You can also see against Campbell what he brings to the team. A lot of pace, a lot of dynamics, but unfortunately for him, Ajax have it of Kudus more often, emphasizing the fact that the Pippa role might be staying for Kudus. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box uh, on really this comment here from the coach of Ajax. And uh, he says everyone deserves to play. Mohamed Kudus deserves to play, but it is something that he cannot control because there are players in the team who also deserve a playing time and uh, Kudus Mohamed will have to uh, deal with that big part role that he is going to get stuck with for a while 
in this team well let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this one here from the ajax coach alfred Scherder, who thinks that kudus mohammed's role in the team uh, could be of a big power one and he thinks he deserves to play he's a great player uh, but others are in there who probably will always get ahead of him in the pecking order your thoughts in the comments box on everything talking about a, a coach of the ghana national team technical advice out gratuiting saying that ghanaians will not care how we get out of our group they only care that we do We've also been talking about Kudus Mohamed's coach who has alluded to the fact that Kudus does deserve playing time and that probably he might not get it because there are other players who also deserve as much playing time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box and everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.